Ready. We're ready. All right, no, we're Five. Ready. Five. Eighty-two. <laughs> so what I want to know is, why is a nice Italian kid like you schlepping around with all these actors? Good question. Because <laughs> um, I caught a break. Because uh, I met a bunch of people that are really special, that are really, really, really important and really nice. And they really love me, and I really love them. And we love each other. And I don't want to get mushy, but that's the way it goes. I don't know. But you really set out to be a professional boxer. I really thought I was going to be middleweight champion of the world. I really was de bound and determined to be middleweight champion of the world. Did you have a good crack at it? Yeah, I, you know, I had 13 pro fights. And uh, when I got the job, when I got taxi, that's when my career in boxing was turning around. And I had all intentions of boxing and acting. But uh, I found out uh, that you have to commit yourself to one or the other. It's very, very difficult to keep up with the upper echelon of those fighters if you're not doing it every day, if you're dedicating yourself to something else. And then you had to dedicate yourself to taxi, so you had to make a choice, so. Now, had NBC not rescued taxi, Tony, what might you be doing today? Well, um, I'll be honest with you. I was prepared for taxi to be canceled by ABC, and I wasn't prepared for NBC to pick it up. I was pleasantly surprised, of course. I'd be a, f I'd be a liar if I told you I wasn't going to miss the check. But, uh, I mean, I never really was, I never worried about what's going to happen next. I'll get by. I'll get by. But did you say to your agent, get me more jobs? No. I turned down some jobs. I want to, uh, you see, taxi, the problem with taxi is, is that it's so good that you can't turn around and do a love boat now. I mean, hey, you know, you're better than that. And so you have to maintain that standard. I love Taxi. I think it's funny. I think it's a, sh I think it's a, it's a shame that people don't watch it because not only does it show people helping people, supporting people, not only does it show guys taking pride in what they do because we have a lot of people nowadays who don't take pride in their work. My father was a garbage man for the city of New York, picked up on a block that I lived on. He took pride. Somehow he made that job a prideful job. Well, that's what taxi is. And besides that, it's funny. Well, what else do you want out there? What's the matter with you? Watch the show. It kills me. It kills me. Did you ever have other jobs, like when you were going to school and all that? I had every job you could name. name I washed some. dishes. I owned a car wash. I was a bartender. In fact, when I fought in the, in the Golden Gloves, I was the battling bartender. I was serving mittens instead of Manhattans. But anyway, <laughs> uh, I mean, I've done, I've moved furniture. I've been, you name it, I've just about done it. Did I you? sold culottes out of the trunk of my 69 Riviera. How's that? Cool and I'm trying to buy this camera off this guy over here. I'm going to take it down to Little Italy and we'll make a fortune, me and you. <laughs> <laughs> Tony, did you ever drive a taxi? I never drove a taxi. Once... I got to that point of desperation. I said to my mother, and it was after I had graduated college, and so she was, my mother was not real, you know, she wasn't for it. <laughs> she said, all that money for college, you're going to drive a cab. Now, she says, pretty good you're driving a cab. <laughs> but um, I never actually drove a cab. I never did. But I'll tell you, last night, <laughs> in my many travels, because we were in New York, I, um, met a cab driver who said, hey, you're Tony Danza, pull over. He pulled me over. I had a cooler, a few beers. We sat there on 2nd Avenue and 60th Street and had a few beers under the stars. It was beautiful. Cab drivers, New York. Do you have any pet gripes, though, about taxi drivers? Are you kidding? I'd be a fool if I had any. <laughs> <laughs> if you had any... You I love them all. I love them all. I love them all. I think that... Um, I think that everybody in Fort Worth should come to New York and take a cab ride. Yes, because you see, our area is not cab-oriented. Only the tourists use taxis. Well, you know, there are Grand Prix drivers and then there are cab drivers. <laughs> I just want you to know that you come to New York here and, you know, it's fun. I took a cab today with my father. My father was like, white. This guy was making moves. For, you know, I was like, you know, <laughs> Mario Andretti. Ew, he's having a great time. In New York. New York. I have a feeling you like New York a lot. New York likes me, and I like New York. I grew up here. 
I have to find out, what did you study in college? I graduated to be a uh, social studies teacher. <laughs> You're kidding. No. <laughs> I taught a semester, in fact, and I had a kid who's, who um, controlled even the laughter. I mean, where I'd tell a joke and no one would laugh until he laughed. And they'd stop when he stopped. And he called me teach. And I knew it wasn't for me. Just had to get out, huh? The rewards are great to see a kid make something of himself. And I think somewhere down the line, once I become what all I want to be, that's what my payback is. I'm going to work with kids, but uh, not in that capacity. And meanwhile, we'll watch for you on Taxi. Keep punching. OK, come okay. see us in Texas. OK. Good to see you, Tony. Thank you, Bobby.